What's up, my pilot? What's up, your We're back playing Pokemon Platinum Punch Lock. I told you guys last time that in this episode, we we're going to go out onto the route that we've just passed and try and get Yibby to evolve. That's uh, that's what's on the agenda today, because we basically skipped all of the trainers back here except for this guy. So we'll just go around and fight the some one at a time. Look at my Pokemon! Alright, dude. Well, let's see what Pokemon he's got. Surely it's something amazing. Why is there a tube route here? He's not even near the ocean. It's like the next town over from a raid. Hmm. I'm tempted to let Yeti just go for it and see if he can take this from right out. Let's see. Do we have a do we have wood hammer? Let's see what we can do. Signal beam. Oh boy. Ooh, wow. Critical hit. Super effective. Whoa, recoil. That's that's scary, man. I have to pay close attention to that wood hammer move. Oh god, that was like no experience. That wasn't worth it at all. Okay, Yeti. I'm either gonna have to put Yeti outside of the front of the party or, or we're gonna do something different here. Okay, let's put Peach in front next. Does Peach have a move besides um, Peach has strength? That's right. So Peach is basically gonna try and set up T bolts with nasty plots or use strength. People are telling me I'm going to need all the HMs, basically, to get to the Elite Four. And so I've decided I'm just going to start teaching them to Pokemon. Just because I, HM slaving is just so annoying that I wanted to have them all on my usual team members. So I've already got Surf and Strength. I just need to get Rock Smash and Rock Climb. And, and we also have Fly, too. So I don't know who wants to learn Rock Smash, but it looks like we have some options. So we'll think about it, make a decision later. All right, you're up next, sir. The way of the sailor. <laughs> Sing it. Sailor Mark. Oh, flying water type. Here we go. Peach in her prime. That quad effective damage. Nice. Of course, Yeti still has the experience chair. Just trying to get him to evolve. That's the goal here, really. Get Yeti to evolve. So, will this guy fight us or only at night? I can't explain it! I get more easily agitated at night. Okay. Yeah, we have to fight him at night. Then. No big deal. What's this? Pokemon size contest! Big Pokemon wanted. Oh boy. Should go catch a whale lord. I had a dream. It was a wonderful dream. I dreamt that a trainer would bring me a giant Remoraid. Nope. Not me, sir. Not in this Nuzlocke run. Hey, buddy. Catching any fish makes me happy, but those days are long gone now. Wow. Clearly you're not enjoying your your hobby anymore, dude. Pikachu fan club? Pika 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 Hmm. Okay. Oh my god. It's a Pikachu! How many of these are not really Pikachu? Let me see. Pikachu? Okay. I'm, I'm thinking there's gonna be a Poke Kid here, right? Ah, I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> oh, I love these little things. So adorable! <laughs> hey, I got my own Pikachu. How about that? Or a Raichu. But you get the idea. <laughs> Let's do it. Hmm. What should I go? I'll just use Strength. Just to see how much Peach can actually do with that move. Whoa! Looks like it's pretty usable, actually. Wow. That, that is a surprising amount of damage. I mean, Pikachu is not a very bulky Pokemon, but it's only a few levels under us. Hmm. It's weird how she seems, she seems to shrink and then expand again when she uses the move. It's kind of strange. Right, you see, that's really cute. Can you just imagine that? Like, a little kid. Like a little girl in a Pikachu costume with two little Pikachu with her. That would just be adorable. Pikachu! Uh, sad Poke Kid. Sad Poke Kid. I need a lot more practice to become a real Pikachu. <laughs> I'm a real boy! Hello? That's a Pikachu. These are. I think the rest of these are probably real Pikachu. That's pretty funny. Yep. This guy's like, look at all these Pikachu! I'm going for the Pokemon Championship with only Pikachu! <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
That's, uh, gonna be quite a task, buddy. Listen, can you tell me what kind of Pokemon you have? Alright, you'll get to see them firsthand, or they'll probably just Peach. Tuber. Another Remoraid. Dat Fish. So I guess we're open to go to the Elite Four at any time now, and that's pretty much where the run is going to end for me. Because we already did the whole Team Rocket Legendary Pokemon arc. That's all done. At least I think so. I don't actually know the plot, but I'm guessing that we're about done with that. Uh, and we already have all eight gyms beaten, so it's just the Elite Four now. Uh, so we can go and do that at any time, really. Uh, people were telling me that out on the beach there's somebody who wants to give me Waterfall, and I think it's the person I talked to in the last episode. Gyarados, you're going down! Dead Intimidate. Yeah, so I guess we'll, we'll go and pick up Waterfall and teach it to mud. Or maybe somebody else. I don't know who, who else could use it effectively. It would be interesting if mud had a physical and a special water type attack. It'd be kind of cool. Maybe it could maybe it could prove useful. I don't know when it would, but in theory it could help. And it would get one of more ever HMs put onto a Pokemon. So we'll, we'll just see. Ah, Gyarados. T Bolt. The one move that Gyarados really really fears is the Thunderbolt. Quad effective damage. It's always so satisfying to do that much damage in one shot. Come on, Yeti. Yeti has to be close to getting that last level up. He tried to evolve at his last level, but I'm, I was thinking he'll hold out, because he's going to learn Blizzard sooner if he doesn't evolve. So this next level he's going to learn Blizzard and then evolve, I think. There he goes. Alright. Yeti wants to learn Blizzard! Yeah, so Blizzard is 100% accurate in the hail which is pretty much all the time when you're bringing Yeti onto the field. So, uh, it's a difference... Okay, so I, I want to keep Ice Shard, because priority moves are great, and I have stab priority is sweet. Uh, but Swagger, you see, it's like... Eh, it's kind of a, a gamble. I'd rather have Confuse Ray or something. Ingrain is interesting. It doesn't restore very much HP, and it keeps you from switching out. So I feel like I'm never going to use Ingrain, just because it would lock Yeti onto the field. And not being able to switch out could definitely get Yeti killed. So I'm going to forget Ingrain. And learn Blizzard, which will be 100% accurate pretty much all the time for Yeti. And now, I'll let him evolve. Congratulations, your Yeti evolved into Obama Snow. Obama Snow. <laughs> That's what I should have named him was Obama or Obama Snow. That'd be pretty funny. Let's see. Let's check out his health. Oh wow! He's already got more health than Peach. That's nice. That's gonna help him stand up to some shots because he doesn't have he doesn't have the speed. He doesn't have the defense. Not a whole lot, at least. Yeah, 80 defense, 70, 68. Okay. Attack and special attack, pretty good. All right. Yes, yeah, so I guess we'll, we'll have to get him up to a level that's comparable before we really start analyzing. But the Jolly Nature is not a bad nature, so it's pretty cool. And it looks like he's going to have a lot of health on him, which is nice. So we'll, we'll keep going along, along on this route. My goal for this video is basically just to clear this route, get, get all the trainers beaten here, because I want to get Yeti up to the same level as the rest of the team. So really, I guess I should put him in front. The only thing is, his Wood Hammer is a powerful move, but that one-third recoil on it means that it's going to be difficult for me to use it out here because he's going to get uh, recoil a, a lot. 91. Freaking Magikarp. Finneon. One of the most forgettable Pokemon in the entire franchise, I think. It's just a fish. Like, what's special about it? There's no reason to remember Finneon. None that I know, at least. Maybe it plays a role in an episode of the new anime, but... I don't know anybody who watches the newer episodes of the anime. Phoebus. The ugly Pokemon. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny back in Gen 3 when they tried to make, like, cool and tough Pokemon stats. It was like, 
everyone was sort of just like, no, that's really lame. <laughs> and then they had Feebus, that Pokemon that just evolved when it was really, when it became more beautiful, it just suddenly evolved. Like an ugly duckling story. Kind of funny, I guess. Let's, uh, I'm not gonna go back to the town, although I could. I'm just gonna drop some healing item down and we'll let Yeti take a couple battles on his own. How about that? Hypo potion. Whoops. Not on Peach now, please. I definitely push to the right. It just doesn't 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 load until you've it doesn't uh, register until you've got that screen fully loaded. Okay. Whoops. No, not strength. Switch. Yeti in front. Let's we'll see if he can punch out some Magikarp. <laughs> I don't think you'll have much trouble with it, to be honest. Four of them she got. Magikarp, Magikarp, Magikarp. There's gonna be three Magikarp and a Gyarados. Pretty kind of funny. Got a spikes on his back. Hmm. Alright, let's see how much I can do with an with a ice shard. I'm just curious. It's an interesting animation for that move. It doesn't look like a priority move. Eh, not much. And Magikarp splashed, just like I expected. Okay. And the hail, oh yeah. It's another thing, the hail does the continuous damage, so that's gonna help Yeti out too. Let's use a blizzard, why not? I'll just finish him off with a blizzard. It's gonna finish him off and it's not gonna do any recoil, so it's better than Woodhammer. Pretty sweet. So stab blizzard is like 180 damage, base power. Plus hail damage on the end of the turn, so that's pretty cool. Remember raid. Alright, now I'll slam a wood hammer down and see how much recoil we're gonna get. That's a, I like that animation, that one's kinda unique. So it's one third, right? Yeah, well it's like 25 damage. That's manageable. That's something you could deal with, I think. Oop, Gyarados. You're flying. Is he gonna try and bounce on me? I wonder. He cuts my attack. So, do I just hit him with a blizzard? It's gonna be neutral damage, but it's a powerful stab. I'll give him a blizzard. Go tail. That's gonna be, what, quad resisted? Whoa, is that a crit? He did a lot of damage. I guess it's just a strong Gyarados, but, uh, physical attack. Ooh, wow. Alright, Yeti, I think it's time. I think you've had enough for this battle. Uh, yeah, that's not quite enough damage to leave him in for another turn. So, who wants to come in next? Uh, how about Belle? Or is this that Aqua Tail that's coming in? Or will she? I wonder. Water does, does it, water do have to see? I can't remember. I can never remember. Ice Fang. That wouldn't have done much to... Hmm. Ice is the only type that ice types resist, so that wouldn't that would have done neutral damage on Obama's now. It's weird. I also find it strange that steel types take damage like, uh, from from hail, but they're immune to sandstorms. So I don't really get what the what the difference is there. Maybe hail is more damaging than a sandstorm. I don't know. I always thought it was strange. I, I always thought the hail just shouldn't affect steel types. Maybe that's just making steel types a little bit too OP. I don't know. Hydro Pump? Where did that come from? Well, hold on on me, man. Went for the Aqua Tail the first time. Oh, that didn't do much, did it? There was not much special attack on the Gyarados. Alright. Bell can still tumble with the rest of them. And Eddie got, or Ye Yeti got most of the experience. Ugh, oh, Eddie. On. Do you want to stay in or do you want to switch into the pointed stones? Ha <laughs> ha! Dem stealth rocks. We'll just bring, we'll bring Peach in, she'll be fine. Safeguard? What does that do? Critical hits or something like that? I think prevents critical hits. Oh, the hail! Poor Peach getting buffeted by the hail. Doesn't do very much damage, does it? I like this with, with stealth rocks and hail. We could back up some damage on uh, people just on entry. So that, that could prove useful in an elite four kind of match. So I know I have to play strategically. I have to play smart. I have to use stealth rocks. <laughs> Basically, is what it's going to come down to uh, when I get into 
battles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lead with Bell for pretty much every Elite Four member, unless I know that there's a Dark type we're going against. Uh, because really, we just need to get the Stealth Rocks up, and then Bell can use Confuse Ray if we want to cripple whatever Pokemon she's up against, or, or just go for the Return Extra Sensory for decent damage. So, got a lot of options with, with leading with Bell, and. The best one, I think, would probably be Stealth Rocks most of the time. Then we can we can get lucky, and they might bring in Flying types or Fire types. Get some get some nice damage on the Stealth Rock. I think my favorite use of Stealth Rocks is is when you know that your opponent is going to bring in a Volcarona, so that they take half of their health from Stealth Rocks, which is pretty great. Quad weakness to Rock. Which is probably the only thing that, that's bad about Volcarona, an otherwise awesome Pokémon. Super effective! That experience. Gosh, we're getting to high levels, it's getting hard to get our Pokémon up there. I don't have a lucky egg, do I? Is that a Gen 5 item? I can't remember. Well, it wouldn't be in the medicine pocket, would it? Yeah, I don't see one. I guess we could give... Yeti the Never Melt Ice, if we feel like it. Hmm. To figure out what the best held items will be, I'm gonna bike back to town and get a heal. Doo -doo -doo. Can't believe you can bike on the sand so well. How do you get down to those? I guess you, I guess you have to surf around to get that item there. I just do that. I like here. It's like, oh, you want to use Rock Smash? Nope. Just gonna surf around it. Wait, hang on. Is this a new route? Do we have an encounter here yet? Um... Oof, that was a huge lag spike, wow. Route 222. I... don't remember if we have an encounter here or not. Um... I'm trying to think. I feel like we don't, actually. Do I have any repels? Here we go. Just use one of those right now, so I can go and get this item. A quick ball! Ah, well, it's a waste of super repel. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess... Hmm. I don't think I missed any... I don't think I've gotten any encounters in this episode. I'm gonna go check the PC and see if we've caught anybody on this route, because I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head. I don't even know what I would be going for at this point. I pretty much already have a team. Where was the... Uh, there it is. This town's a freaking maze. I can't remember where anything is. That's gonna be so out of sync. Oh man. Alrighty then, let's check out the PC and see if we uh, got anybody on Route 222 yet. I don't think so, but you know, you gotta be careful with that sort of thing. So. Okay, yeah. Well. Daffy was one of the last ones we got. Uh, no, I don't... I could, just, I could just flip through really fast and make sure. So where does it say where we caught them? Yeah, Met Lake Acuity, Route 218, 204, Valley Wind Works, 205, 206, Slash, Rings, 208, 213, 211, Mount Coronet, Nelson City, Mount 215, uh, Valley Lakefront, Lake Mary, Orbrook Mine, Route 202, Florida Meadow, Route 207. No Route 222, so let's go catch a Pokemon. Now, I don't know what Pokemon I should go for. Huh, I wonder. Pondering, pondering, pondering here. Let me think, do I, what, what TMs do I have? Do I have any great TMs that I don't have anybody to teach to? Let's see. Grass Knot. Sleep talk, rock slide. Rock slide would be a nice move to have. If I could get a rock type, I don't know if I'm gonna find a rock type on this route. Uh, let's see. It's like a avalanche. Hmm. Yeah, there's another move that I might think about giving to to Yeti, but I see there's no point because I guess it would just it would just be a physical attack instead of a special. So we'll see. Flash rock polish as well. Shadow claw. An interesting choice. I think I'm, I have, I have a suspicion I, there's another Pokemon I, want, I might want to teach that to, so we'll save that. 
Charge beam roost. Not very useful, as I already have healing items. Hmm. Sludge bomb. Maybe like a tentacruel or something? I don't know. So I have toxic as well. Hmm. I have taunt. So there's a lot there's a lot of moves that I could be considering as options here. So let's see, where do I wanna do I have any good fishing rods? I don't think I have the good fishing rod. Let's see what pocket would that be. Key items, I guess. Yeah, I have the old rod, but I never other oh, I, I okay, I have the good rod. Well let's see what I can get with the good rod out here. Whoop, what would I get? Landed a Pokemon, so we get three tries. If we get dupes, let's see what it is. Remoraid. Hmm. We don't have a Remoraid, but I get the feeling I don't want one. Well, I guess I'll catch it anyway, just to see. Maybe this is actually a really great Pokemon that I just don't know. Is it the one that evolves into the Octopus? It's the Gen 2 Pokemon, I think. First try, alright. Yeah, I think it is the one that evolves into Octillery. Which is kind of a funny Pokemon. It forcefully squirts water. The water jet never misses prey, even if Remoraid is deep in the sea. How do you squirt a water jet when you're underwater? What should I call this guy? I'm gonna name him... Uh, Otto. Yeah, because it sounds a lot like Octo. He's gonna be an octopus soon, if he ever evolves. Oh, it's a girl! Uh, whoops. Oh well. <laughs> We've got a, a girl named Otto. Don't really mind. Okay, let's see. Anything else cool on this route? Items sitting around? I see there's a way back around to this item. And now I don't, I don't have to worry about going through grass, because I already have... I don't know anybody who can cut! Ah! See, this is, this is, this is getting annoying. The HMs are just... They suck, man. They really do. Let's see who wants to learn cut. Just a crap move, really. Nobody can even learn cut. Wow, I hate HMs so much. God, what a stupid mechanic. I can't believe they ever put that crap in the game. I got six good Pokemon on my team and none of them can learn how to cut a tree down? Really? That's just annoying. Alright, where's where's Yeti at right now? Level 41. Man. I guess we'll just leave the experience tree on him. Probably by the time we get to the Elite Four, we'll be alright. In terms of levels. What else is left in this route? Oh, there's a couple more trainers. Looks like this guy might be the last one, actually. So, uh, let's give Yeti another shot. Let him get some more experience. I need to escape these doldrums. You can keep me company. Doldrums. Gosh, whenever I hear the word doldrums, I think of that book, The Phantom Tollbooth. Love that book. Luxray, look at the sparkles. Oh, man. Electric dark moves. One against grass, ice. I'm gonna resist the electric ones. I think. Does grass resist electric? I can't remember. Uh, okay, I guess, I'm, I guess I'm good to go here. Uh, let's hit him with a blizzard. Thunderfang, okay. Yeah, I do resist it, that's right. Not very effective. See what you got, Yeti. Yeah, that jolly nature does not do much for his blizzard. And you see, he's slow enough that I feel like Avalanche would be a good investment. Because it's going to do the same amount of damage, but Yeti is going to go second. Just That's pretty much what's going to happen. Whoa! That did a lot of damage, man. Yeti's a bit fragile. I'm going to have to be careful with him. There we go. That should be a good bit of experience. 1800. Nice! Level up! Rock on. Yeah, so I guess once we get him to, up to a higher level, uh, we'll figure out what we want to do about his stats. I should get these berries while I'm here so they sprinkle some water. No! Sprinkle some water? No. No? 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 no. I want the berries. Yes, take those. I'll get the berry icon off my map down there. Soil will turn into its soft and loamy state. Whoops! You're another battle! Crap! Oh man. Didn't see this coming. 
What's, what is Beauty Nicole have? <laughs> the bunny, right? Well, Yeti's not gonna stay in for this one. Just gonna put the hail in. Oh boy. Oh, Yeti, and your slow warning. Alright, who wants to come in and take out a low bunny? I don't have a fighting type anymore. Uh, I'm gonna let Blaze do it. The weird thing about Hail is that it's just a damage dealing thing. It doesn't make Ice type moves more powerful. Agility. I wonder if I'm still gonna be faster. That'd be really funny if it was true. Rapid Dash is pretty fast. What do I want here? Uh, let's go for a Flame Wheel. Blaze is supposed to be learning another Fire type move here at some point. Uh, <laughs> would be nice because. No, it's, that's his only stab, and Flame Wheel is only base 60 base power. So really, we need something better for the long run here. I mean, the Sunny Day supports it well, but it just ups it to like the same power as a Flamethrower or something. So at this point, I just really, really gotta find another move. Oh, dizzy Punch. Isn't that, like, does it have a 30% chance of confusing or something like that? It's somewhere in that ballpark. Oh, the hail should finish off the low punny. Yeah, there we go. That was a long cry. It lasts a while. I'm getting some experience. Alright. Can I go back to town now? Enchanting. Got a lot of money from these people. That's nice, at least. I guess we could fight him, too. But do we really want to? We do. Let's do it. The only items you ever throw are Pokeballs, is that true? I want people to think about that. Oh, he gets Fling! Okay, thanks! Neat. Okay, so what items can we... Can we Fling? I guess the Iron Ball is the one you, that you're supposed to Fling. Because it does a lot of damage or whatever. I want to know what that item is, but I don't want to teach somebody Cut to get it. So, screw you, Game Freak! I'm not going to pick it up. I'm just going to leave it there. I thought it's super important anyway. Play a quick ball or some shit like that. Alright, so I guess that's all for this episode. I'm gonna go up there and get a waterfall, though, and then make some determinations about teaching HMs to Pokemon. Because, barring a miracle in Victory Road, and by miracle, I mean Garchomp, <laughs> uh, this, is our, this is our team here. This, these six folks are gonna be the crew that we tackle the Elite Four with. So, I think they have a good shot of making it, if I don't just screw it up. It's going it's it's to be a tough one, not being able to heal in between. I'll get to stock up on items and things, but... It's going to be way harder than the Elite Four normally is, because normally I revive a couple Pokemon after each battle. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, Barry. Hey, Poncho! What the? You went and got all eight gym badges of Sinnoh! Yeah! That's wicked! WICKED! Alright, Barry. I don't think you're going to be a very tough trainer at all, actually. You're not going to try and battle me right now, are you? Or are you going to get tougher one step at a time? I'm not going to challenge you to a battle now. Good. I hate to say it, but I know you're tougher than me. Yeah, don't ever challenge me to a battle again. Not even an inch. Okay, he says he's going to catch up. Oh, boy. Hey, Barry, Pokemon leaves the other way. <laughs> Was that your friend? He looks like an idiot. Must be wonderful having an idiot like that around. It makes you feel so smart. A person you can compete with without fighting. Yeah, because he doesn't fight back. It made me feel sort of... warm? What? This person doesn't have any friends. It may seem odd, but I'd like you to have this. It isn't much. It's an HM! Ha ha! It sucks! Here's another HM in the game! Ha! Waterfall. Ah, uh, you can get to the Pokemon League with it. I, uh, uh, I, oh, uh, good luck. Oh, <laughs> uh, she's awkward. One of the, she's one of the gym leaders from Johto, right? If I remember correctly. Alright, so... HMs. Oh boy. Waterfall? Who can learn Waterfall other than Mud? Just Mud. Mud? Ready to learn Waterfall, Mud? <laughs> I'm so sick of switching out HM slaves that I'm just gonna learn Water- I'm just gonna learn Waterfall. Okay, so... Okay, so... 80 base power is, not, is a usable move. It's just a, uh... Physical attack instead of a special attack. So I'm tempted to get rid of Rain Dance, but Yawn... Being able to put the photo to sleep is a big advantage. I'm not forgetting Earthquake. Or Surf. So it's either Yawn or Rain Dance. Hmm. 
Yawn is delayed by a turn, which kind of makes it hard to use sometimes. But it never misses, which is nice. And there's Rain Dance to power up my water type moves. See, I don't know if I need them to be powered up, because now I, now I can choose whether I want a physical or a special attack. And Rain Dance only lasts for five turns, and yeah, I, just, I don't see myself using Rain Dance. I'll just attack twice. Mud is tough enough that we can handle it. Alright. Poof! I forgot Rain Dance, Mud, Learn, Waterfall. Alright. So we're not going to have Cut, I guess, since nobody can learn it. It's ridiculous. Alright, hang on. Eh, cancel. I want to look at the stats here, so... 40 base power, Rock Smash. You can learn Rock Smash. Hmm. Wonder. Yeti might do well with Rock Smash. I think I'm gonna forget Swagger. I don't like Swagger, because with Yeti, Swagger is a risk. Because that's... That's doubling the, your foe's attack and then confusing them. Just kind of... Eh, I don't know if it's gonna work out well. Because if Yeti gets hit with an attack after that, it's probably going to kill him. So, let me also, also check Rock Climb here. It's normal. Yeah, it's basically Body Slam. Or, um, Takedown, I mean. So it's either... Oh, Yeti has to learn Rock Climb, apparently. Okay. Well, Yeti's going to learn Rock Climb instead, then. So yeah, we'll forget Swagger. I know, I know I'm sort of like hurting my chances in the Elite Four by learning HMs on my team, but I'm just so sick of it. having it. The fact that you have to have an HM slave is ridiculous, so... Alright, who wants to learn Rock Smash? This is the last one. Toggle. It would just be useless on a toggle. Um, well... Peach already knows... Peach doesn't have an open move slot. Neither does Yeti. Blaze can't learn it. Mud doesn't have a move slot. Dude, I think Bell is going to learn Rock Smash. Okay with me. I guess... <sighs> We're gonna have to forget Return. It's fine. Yeah, we'll forget Return. No big deal. And we learned the useless move, Rock Smash. Okay, so just to check again. We really don't have anybody who can learn Cut? That's ridiculous. Okay, I hope we don't need it. It's gonna be annoying if we do. Ah, alright. Yep, so that's all for this episode. In the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum Punchlock, we're going to sail on and uh, head towards the Elite Four. And like I said, barring a miracle in Indigo Plateau getting, uh, or whatever it's called in this area, Victory Road, if we don't get a Gabite, this will be the team of six that will take on the Elite Four. So give me tips about... Well, actually, don't, don't tell me anything about the Elite Four. I don't even know what types they are yet, so don't spoil anything for me. But uh, at some point here... Uh, it's gonna get it's gonna get rough. I'm gonna take on the Elite Four, uh, one video per Elite Four member, just so you guys can criticize me more effectively. <laughs> all right, so that's all. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>